How many of you have ever been in a vehicle accident? Now before you go thinking this is just going to be another tired lecture on seatbelt safety, I want to share a story with you. Several years ago, I had a friend who was in a car accident and he was thrown out of the driver's side window of his car. He ended up in the ditch and thankfully he survived, but today he's a quadriplegic, he has mental disabilities and speech disabilities and he requires 24-hour care. And just a few weeks ago, my sister-in-law and a few of her children were in a, an accident as well, but they were kept safe by the use of their seatbelts. Now, seatbelts can be seen as a nuisance sometimes. They can be uncomfortable, and sometimes they can wrinkle your clothes, but they keep you safe in an accident. And besides the safety issue, it is also the law. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about how seatbelt use is the law, the physical result of not using a seatbelt, and how a seatbelt can save your life. There is a, a law that's a nationwide law called Click It or Ticket. This program goes on at the beginning, excuse me, the, around Memorial Day each year, and it lasts for about two weeks. And during that time, people that are 18 years or older are targeted, and the police can pull you over just for not wearing your seatbelt. The cost of that ticket is $65. Now who wants to spend $65 and get nothing? You're giving $65 away. So why not just wear your seatbelt? So what can happen to you physically if you do not use your seatbelt? According to the Livonia Depart Police Department, the amount of people lost in a traffic accident each day in the United States is equal to the amount of passengers who can fit in a 737 airplane. Oh my goodness. Believe it or not, there are some people who think it would be better to be thrown out of the vehicle than to be stuck in it in their safety belt. But those people are deceived. Statistics from James Madison University state that in a 30 mile per hour collision, an unbelted 160 pound person can go through the windshield, Ouch. smash into other passengers, or slam into other parts of the vehicle at the force of 4,800 pounds. There are also those who believe that it's okay not to wear your seatbelt if you're just driving down the road or you're close to home. However, the Michigan State Police reports that most crashes take place within 25 miles of home and at a rate, rate of speed of less than 40 miles per hour. It makes you think a little bit more about driving down your street without a seatbelt on or around your apartment complex from the mailbox to your house. So what can safety belts do to keep you safe? One out of every five drivers will be in a traffic accident this year. According to the Michigan Law Enforcement Safety Guide, seat belts have saved an estimated 9,500 lives every year. There are several ways in which seat belts can keep you safe. The Livonia Police Department gives the following things. First, they can prevent ejection from the vehicle. Safety belts shift the force to the strongest parts of the body and spread those forces out throughout the body. It also allows the body to slow down gradually rather than forcefully. And it protects the head and spinal cord. So, it's a very wise idea to wear your seatbelt every time you are in a moving vehicle. Today, we've talked a little bit about how the lack of seatbelt use could cost you money by getting a ticket for not wearing one, how the lack of seatbelt use could lead you to injury or death, and wearing a seatbelt can save your life. So for those of you who always wear your seatbelt, please continue to do so. And I'd like to challenge those of you who don't wear your seatbelts to make a choice to start using your seatbelt. It could save you money, it could save your life. Buckle up. <laughs>